Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on wireless redstone. So this is an amazing plugin which allows you to uh, create redstone pulses without using any redstone wires at all. And it has some really unique features which I have uh, demonstrated over here, uh, but I will show you how it works um, normally to begin with. So what we need for this plugin to work is a transmitter sign and a receiver sign. Once you have that, you can flip on the switch next to the transmitter and it will turn the receiver sign into a redstone torch powering whatever object you have here. So uh, this is uh, the very simplest one I have created. You can also have multiple receivers to a transmitter. If we press this button, all of the doors will pop up open and um, if we use the lever, they will stay open and if we close the lever, it will stay shut. Uh, so that is the simplest part of the plugin. Over here we have lots of different receivers. So first of all, we have the delay receiver. So at the bottom you can set an amount of time in milliseconds to um, wait before it powers on the device. So if we press the button, it will wait 3000 milliseconds before the light goes on. And there we go. And it will go on for a very short amount of time um, because we are using a button. Next we have the inverter, so it flips it around and the light will be on normally and when you press the button it will go off for a few seconds before uh, going back on, like that. Next we have the clock um, receiver and this allows you to make it fluctuate so it goes on and off every thousand milliseconds. Uh, so this is pretty useful, you could use this in a variety of ways, opening doors or something like that and we can turn it off if we don't want it to flicker anymore and finally we have the switch receiver so what this does is make it so you have to press the button twice uh, to turn it on and off so press it once it will go on and then press it again it will go off uh, similar to a lever but how do we create one of these so we are going to uh, let me see let's just go over here uh, pop one down and we are going to put a sign in front of it and this is going to be our transmitter so type transmitter on top line so transmitter there we go and we're going to call it something so you can call it a number you can call it a word uh, so we're going to call it uh, tutorial like that and that's all we need to do to create the transmitter um, then around it you can put levers or buttons or whatever you want to be able to power uh, whatever object you want and then somewhere else we need to pop down a uh, sign to be our receiver so let's go ahead and let's just stick that behind uh, let's put it here so this is going to be our receiver so type receiver uh, let me do that like that you can also use the shorthand WRR and on the second line the name of the receiver so that needs to be the same as the transmitter and finally we can make it a different type of receiver so you can put clock, you can put delay, you can put switch, any of the others or you can leave it blank. Uh, so we are going to use the delay one and on the bottom line we're going to choose a delay of 1000 milliseconds. Hit OK and that is done. Put down whatever object you want it to affect and we're going to flip on the switch, wait a thousand milliseconds and it will go on. And there we go, we have created a channel. There is one more thing we can do, which is um, create a screen which allows us to um, view information about the channel. So if you type screen uh, like that, and then choose the name of the channel, which is the tutorial, and we are going to right click and it tells us information. Is it active? No. Is it locked? No. And we have one transmitter, one receiver, and one screen. Uh, number six is pretty similar, but number two has three receivers. Uh, as you know it has three doors which open at the same time so if we flip flip it on um, it will say active and there we go so there are a couple of commands that go with this plugin as well if we do forward slash wr it will show us all of the different commands and with this you can do a couple of cool things you can do forward slash wr info and a channel this will show you the same information as if you were to click a screen sign you can do WR activate. Now this is a really awesome command. It allows you to flip a switch or click a button um, without actually being there. So you can do WR activate uh, choose a channel. So we're going to uh, 
choose channel 2 which is for the doors and the amount of time so let's choose uh, 100 which is very quick 100 milliseconds uh, if we stick a zero on that we will see it open for a little bit longer and then it will shut so it will be a short redstone pulse uh, to open the doors um, and you can also lock a channel at a particular state and then you can remove and create them via command as well but it's um, it's much easier to do it with uh, signs so that is the plugin it's really awesome I can't believe I haven't re reviewed this before but um, I finally got around to it I recently found out about it but it's a fantastic plugin it's free to download and it is updated for 1.11 uh, 1 so check out it down below subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time